Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel. My name is Eric and today we are going to take a look at some Disney Funko items. So Funko has been doing a lot of stuff for Mickey's 90th birthday, so we have some stuff all tied to that. And check out the other videos I've done. Like I said, there's just been a ton of content from Funko for Mickey's 90th. And before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and give this video a thumbs up as well. And leave me a comment below to let me know you're here. And then while you're at it, might as well follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I post Disney content all the time on there. So be sure to check that out. All right, let's get started. We're gonna save this one for last. Let's go ahead and take a look at something I picked up at Michael's. Now this is an exclusive to Michael's craft stores here in the US, and it's part of the Mickey True Original 90 series, but is a DIY do-it-yourself Mickey vinyl. So the idea behind these DIY ones is it's a white vinyl in the normal Mickey pose, and you paint him. Now, I've never done one of these. I don't know if I'm gonna actually do this. I did pick it up because you can use Michael's coupons on these. So if you wait for like a 60% off coupon, which is what I used, because they retail for $13 in the store, I got him for $5.50. That is the cheapest non-clearance Funko I've ever gotten, bar none. So that is the best way to do this. But for five bucks, I figured I'd pick it up because I have every other one, just not this. So now I have all the ones that they have released. And it's kind of interesting because up here, you can kind of see they even have like a special little kind of half painted Mickey. That's the same on the back here. The box is a little dinged up, so that made me a little bit sad. Let's see if I can pop this open though, and then we will take him out here. Okay. While this is a Michaels exclusive, I think that they're gonna be pretty common. Right now they're a little hard to find, they kind of disappear pretty quickly. So yeah, here's Mickey, and his head still moves like you would expect, but it's his normal Mickey pose with his arms out and his stance, and he still has his tail. That would probably be a lot. I might recommend painting that first. I don't know. I'm not the best painter, so I don't know if I'd be able to stay within that very well. But, all right, if you're gonna get one and decorate it, let me know, and let me know how you wanna decorate it. I have one friend that said he wants to decorate like Disney Afternoon Mickey, which I think is really smart because I forgot that there is a specific style for Disney Afternoon Mickey. He introduced that television two hour block. Now, where I grew up, we didn't have it in one block, so we never got that, but yeah, there is a Disney Afternoon Mickey. All right. Heading over to GameStop, there are a couple other exclusives from there. And if you remember to a video I did before, this is kind of in addition to those. So let's start here and we have Gamer Mickey sitting. So now we have two Gamer Mickeys. One is standing, one is sitting. This is the sitting one, he is in blue. He is kind of limited right now, I think. So I'm not gonna take him out of the box because I don't know just how limited. He is a little bit hard to track down though. I had to go to two stores to find one for me and one for a friend. But you can see here on the side panel that this is the pose that he is in. And I like it. I like the expression, the half awake eyes. I think they did a really nice job. Aren't my favorite out of the Mickey 90th series. I think they're interesting in something a little bit different, not a typical, like they're an original Mickey style, which you don't see much of from Funko. They usually mimic the styles that you already know. He's got a game controller in his hand and he's got some nice tennis shoes on there as well. I like him a lot. I think these you can still find. They were online. I don't know if they're sold out yet, but they were a little bit harder to find. So like I said, we're gonna leave that in the box. Not that I ever plan to sell these, but just in case, I don't know. It's my grandmother's influence on me, the collector of it. Leave everything in the box and it's original packaging because it's worth more. All right, and then to go along with that, you have Gamer Mini. Now, we didn't get a Gamer Mini last time, so this is the only Gamer Mini we have, but I picked her up because I just really thought this was cool. I think she goes well with the other Gamer Mickeys. I like her pose, so again, I'm gonna leave her in the box. But you can see she's kind of like got her legs kind of like knees together, feet turned out, and then she has like an 8-bit art on her shirt, which is nice, and I just like the colors. I think the blue and the pink, along with the green headset, it's just a really nice look for her, and she's wide-eyed, open. <laughs> she's not half asleep like Mickey is, but again, I thought these were pretty well done. I don't know, let's see, you can see them together there. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, do you like these? They're originals, right? Like, so do you like the design or do you want something more traditional or maybe a Mickey style from one of the Mickey games? So I guess Mickey in the games is usually very standard Mickey except for Epic Mickey, which I believe Funko already did. I don't have that one though. Last but not least, we have a box from Funko here. And like other videos I've done, Funko has been releasing in their Funko shop pop-up shop online home versions of pops that are available at the Mickey the True Original exhibition in New York City. And they've been releasing them online so people that aren't in New York City, like me, can pick them up. So I think this is the fifth or sixth one. I think we have one more to go. I haven't had a hard time getting these except for the one they did for like the 13 days of Christmas, which sold out almost instantly. I couldn't get it 
but I lucked out and had a friend that helped. So you can check out the other videos for those, but this is blue and purple Mickey. Again, we're gonna leave him in the box because he's very limited. You cannot buy him. Once they're sold out, that's it. Now these do have a different sticker than the exhibition, but I don't mind that. Again, it's just kind of nice to have a whole rainbow and they've just done some cool color patterns, but it's the same sculpt as this Mickey with his hands out, just colored differently on each one. So not too original, too special, but they're neat. I think that they're just a nice way to celebrate. Again, I wasn't really planning to collect them, but somehow I ended up doing it because that's just how my life works. I don't plan to collect things and then poof. I end up with so much stuff and I need a bigger house. Anyway, that's beside the point of this video. All I have to say, I'm not sure which one of these I like the best. I think I like the gamer Mickey and Minnie the best out of this set. So let me know in the comments what you like the best out of these sets. And like I said, if you are gonna pick up one of the DIY ones, then go ahead and let me know how you are gonna paint it. And then finally, I will try and remember to put a link to this guy on the Michaels website in the description so you can check your store inventory because you can't order it online or you could, but it went out in stock really quick, but you can also look and see what stores locally have it. So that's how, what I did, because it was by the store I normally go to. I hope you guys are having a good day and be sure to like this video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, do all those fun things. But most importantly, until next time, have a really magical day. <laughs> Cheapest non-clearance Funko I've ever gotten, bar none. So that is the best way to do this, but I thought it was cool and so for five bucks I figured I'd pick it up because I don't have, or because I have every other one. But for five bucks I figured I would pick it up because it, I don't have, nah. But for five bucks I would figure out,